Hey y'all, I'm back. This is a Yanni Mood Mastery video. Thank you for joining me. This one is entitled, My Top Five Favorite Worship Leaders. Yes, my top five favorite worship leaders. Um, and worship leaders, the way I look at it, worship leaders are a little different than just, you know, entertainers, gospel entertainers. Now, I mean, you know, mo they're all singing about the good news, but worship is a, is a different thing. And so my top five favorite are my top five favorite because they have the ability to lead me into worship, okay? This is going to be a quick video. It's not going to be a whole lot of singing and all that like I've been doing on the other ones. I have been showing out, really. Okay, um, so let's get started. Number one is going to be Eddie James. Mm-hmm. Eddie James. Go look him up. Phenomenal. Love him. All right, he's the singer of maybe um, in some of your churches you sing Freedom. Um... I wasn't there before. Um, let me see. Oh, I want to shout louder than before. Oh, you know, freedom, freedom. Sorry, I said I wasn't gonna be doing singing during this video. I cannot help it. Number one, Eddie James. All right. Number two is Cindy Cruz Ratliff. I think. I got that right. Cindy, Cindy Cruz. Yeah, Cindy Cruz. And she got married and became Cindy Ratcliffe. I think that's right. Cindy Ratcliffe. Yeah, Cruz Ratcliffe. Um, she is at um, Joe Olstein's church uh, in Texas. Yes. Love her. Have loved her for many, many years. Um, she and Israel Holton uh, led there together. And... Um, yeah, even back then, I would watch, you know, watch them because I wanted her to lead me in worship. She's amazing. I love her. All right, there was a song that um, that she actually um, sang with Israel at Lakewood, and it's called I Will Sing, one of my favorite songs. It could have actually been on my top favorite CCM songs, um, now that I think about it, but I told you there were so many. Um, but I Will Sing is an amazing duet between Cindy and Israel. Go find that. It's Israel Holton and Cindy Cruz Ratcliffe um, singing I Will Sing at Lakewood Church, okay? Um, let me see. I will sing of your love I will tell the wonders of what you've done in my life with my song testify I will live and not die to declare Lord you are good and I will sing your mercy endures, it's everlasting. Lord, you are good, and I will sing of your great love. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing song. I could, mm, I could actually cry right now because that song, woo! got me through some stuff. It was a song in my heart during some really, 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 really tough songs. I mean, I literally, it stayed on my mouth and in my spirit for a really long time. And it really, it helped bridge me over some really tough times. That song is amazing. Please go and check it out. All right, moving on. Um, top five favorite worship leaders. Number three would be Carrie Job. Yeah, Carrie Job. I talk about her a couple of times in some other videos. Um, but her tenderness and her vulnerability, um, spiritually, the way she can be vulnerable on stage really opens it up. At least for me, it does. It, it just, yeah, it very, very easily leads me into worship her vocals the songs the, uh, um, not just the arrangements but the lyrics the the lyrics are rich and substantive 
um, and very meaningful. So yeah, Carrie Job would be number three. Number four would be Judith McAllister. Yeah. Judith McAllister, honey. Let me tell you, she does not play. Love me some Judith McAllister. Let me see one of the songs. Um, um, we sang a lot of her songs in a couple of churches that I let worship in. Um, but one of my favorites is um, um, the Lord is high in all the the Lord is high in the and his glory above the nations it's a call and response so give God the highest praise acknowledging him always and all God's people say halle, halle, hallelujah and then everybody um um repeats it and then they go into a vamp that says halle, halle Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And they just keep um, modulating that thing. <laughs> woo -hoo. Ow, whoa, whoa. Yes, honey, and she knows how to lead that kind of big and boisterous praise unto the Lord. Yes, Judith McAllister. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I've learned a lot of a lot from her too. Not just musically but just doctrinally and spiritually as far as worship leading is concerned yeah she's definitely a um a, men a worship mentor of mine check her out dr judith McAllister. all right and then finally would be darlene check yes darlene check also hill song um but like original hill song you know back in the day i'm sure she's still doing it now but the impression that she made on me happened a long time ago. Not with any of the new stuff, but the old stuff, and it's still with me. That's that's how wonderful it was. Um, and of course, you know the song that, I mean, this particular song, that we talk about oceans and those kinds of songs and stuff that Hillsong's doing right now, and they're doing some phenomenal things. Um, but they've always been doing great things. I mean, uh, she went, mainstream or their music back then with Darlene went mainstream as well um which was really really new um well relatively new for worship music at that time um let me see if I can remember um shout to the Lord yeah shout to the Lord all the earth let us sing power and majesty praise to the king yeah, mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. Mm. I sing for joy at the works of your hands. Forever I'll love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. Yeah. Yeah. That's an anthem too. Absolutely. It's an anthem as well. Well, that wraps it up. My top five favorite worship leaders. Please check them out. Look at what they've done. You know, um, go to their website, read some of their information. They could be a wonderful resource for you too. All right. Thank you very much. Let me know who yours are. Leave them below if you have any questions about anything that I've just talked about. Please feel free to ask them below. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have, thank you. I appreciate it. Turn on notifications so that I can let you know when the next video is coming out. And until then, have a blessed day. Bye.